Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Battletech as promised. We are still in the prologue mission, continuing right where we left off. You see that big old thing right there? This is the city of uh, the Cormadir throne, and uh, things have gotten kind of bad, as you can tell. But all we're trying to do today is get the heck out of here. And we're going to try and do that without having Mastiff getting destroyed. Which right now, these vehicles are kind of coming after him, so I want to get him... I mean, his long-range missile stuff is a good idea, but I want—I do not want Mastiff taking point. Not right now. Problem, I leave. And that may not have been the best move, but we'll brace. Let's us dissipate heat a little bit. So, here come the vehicles. There's two of them, and they're just running over buildings like it's nothing. So there's a scorpion. Oh, actually hits. Oh crap. All right. Tell me what you need. Okay, Kamea, we can drop you up here. We're gonna just. This is not a covered position, out. but this is a missile available position, and this guy's currently out in the open and exposed. So we're gonna take this not attack of opportunity part. while we can. Please knock him out. No, just one volley of missiles. All right, Asher, you do not have the same long-range capabilities, so we are going to sprint. Full and hopefully we can dissipate this heat in just a little bit. Alright, so there's House Espinosa, who have been up to no good, starting making trouble in our neighborhood and the rest of the planet and all that. So, well, there's your story for those of you who might have missed it. As Mastiff, I didn't want you taking point. Fortunately, that's wet noodle damage. Just made a terrible mistake. You did. You really did. All right, Mastiff. Orders. I'm actually gonna reserve you. I'm holding action. All right. Let the scorpion get a little bit more in position. So actual miss. That's a start. I just want the rest of my crew to be able to catch up here. So. Yes, I hear you. Let's see if we can move you just a touch closer. Well, first off, okay, for some reason, for some reason, sprinting is not a thing that wants to happen right now. I guess it's because everybody's blocking the way here. So we'll drop Mastiff over here. Fall in behind me. Do you have to shoot right now? Okay, we do have to shoot, so you can't just fire and do it later. We'll do everything but the long-range missile. We could multi-target. So there's A, there's B. All right, seems good. Well, overkill. What fun. More importantly, they're going to be taking the evasion charge off. So once these vehicles are down, we should be able to get... Okay, now we got Kamea up here. And Kamea can totally take the point. Because, of course, as the princess or rightful heir to the throne, she has the beefiest mech. So, And what do we got to fire with? We have just missiles and just a 50% chance to hit. 50% of the time works every time. Vehicle destroyed. All right, everybody to the evac zone. Is that dissipates some heat because missiles not really heat loading weapons. So let's go ahead and move ourselves up here into the cover. Once again, one of the really interesting things is just the terrain and what it can do for everything. But we do have our evac. Once again, once again, we're reserving Mastiff. We're gonna give him. We're gonna give him a minute. Kamea. Kamea, you take the front. So it seems like there's more hostiles here. Oh! This is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Oh, that's like a good argument there. Do whatever you must, betrayer. Oh, I feel the love. A headstrong fool, the end. Damn you for this. Captain Haas, destroy the Mastiff. My cousin, all of them leave no survivors. Oh, well, fun. Well... We have a Wolverine piloted by a house. No, can we hit him with anything? 
it looks like we don't have range, so we'll brace. Even though it seems like we totally should have been able to. Okay. They punched through my defenses. So Mastiff's armor once again not being super happy. Talk to me. And we do have some uh, missiles up there that are going to be a problem. So if we kind of strafe to the right, the other right. Okay, this puts us in tree cover, right? Okay, I wish that I kind of wish those icons were a little bigger. All right. Aye, aye. Gonna fall back with you because one of the requirements is that everybody survive. All right. So who's our targets here? Long range missile or AC-10? Bad shot. Better shot. Better shot. You brought this on yourself. Okay. Is that a turret down? Yes. Target Thanks. destroyed. Alright, Asher next. So we can get some evasion charges, but not evasion in cover. That's fine. I'd rather present myself to be the target of opportunity, I guess, right? Now, right now... It looks like you have max evasion, and we should just be going for the... The AC-2s are going to be the only thing to hit. We have 17 AC-2 ammo left. So yeah, this this would be fun, but this is a great way to generate heat. Let's see what we can do about this laser turret, which has a lot of armor, but not a lot of life. So that's a start. Alright, can Mastiff do it? And if we put you, if we drop you back over here, that's one evasion charge, and more importantly, that should be the LRM and AC-10 should be enough to take out this guy. Or I could sensor lock, but it seems like a better play to go after this. 60 damage or plus four. How much health do you have? That's multi-target. Okay, 45 for each. All right, we'll put we'll put you on there. Let's find out. Okay, down an evasion. Some damage to the Wolverine. More importantly, we got the turnout. Good, good target stuff. Destroyed. So now it's just mano a mano with Kamea Arano, who is having some heating troubles. That's massive with heating troubles, but he did happen to fire everything, but fortunately, fortunately for us, the dum-dum is just standing right there firing. My armor. So that should be all right. You have my attention. Okay, what can we do? Seems like a good move and shoot opportunity. As right now, he's just standing out in the open, so it's now or never for all of our heat generation. Yeah, there we go. See, we wait for the better shot. The AI presents it to us. Neutralizing threat. And there is a, uh, he just lost an arm. I, I love the damage for all this. Asher, no need to reserve right now. Let's see what we got. Let's move here. See if we can get the kill on the blackjack. Because right now there's a lot of damage on you. And see, we're getting an attack from the same angle. That's also very important. You see where that red line is? We're even getting some of the back damage a little bit. So there's nothing here. Loadout is now just a few weapons left. This may actually do it. So we're going to fire with everything. Pilot injured. Okay. We didn't do it. I guess that's what I get for not taking gunnery as a skill. All right. You've got my attention. Somebody pissed off Mastiff, and now he's ready to. Uh... Let's see. I'm just gonna move in and go for the kill. Roger that. Maybe I should have reserved, but 
Screw it. We got a good shot. We're going to take it. I keep wanting to do the XCOM thing of pressing 1 here to fire, but center towards those destroyed. So pilot is incapacitated and we're done. Ugh, what a waste. Don't have to worry about salvage on this mission. I mean, what are, are we going to come back and salvage like things when the uh, enemy is trying to Stop just overthrow our throne? Not really. I'll make it happen. Mastiff's big butt, however, is great at getting in the way for missions that we don't have jump jets. So that's a thing to consider. Right. Evac zone. Orders. Mastiff's got to go first. Affirmative. Confirmed. All right. So, Alexander and Madaria, thank the gods you made it. Kamea, Captain Halverson's preparing the engines now. In another five minutes, we'll be ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Asher, you see Lady Arana to the docking ramp. When she's aboard, come back to me. We'll hold this pass until whatever comes. Thank you, Sir Rashu. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. I promise you that. All right. So Kamea can just run right here. Right? Kamea to the dropship. All friendly units must survive. Can she make this run? Hardest part of the mission. All units advance. I want you to take down that dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in the way. All right, Asher. I trade you for this. We'll fight side by side. Watch each other's backs. Above all else, we will keep Lady Arana safe. Protect the dropship. It is all that matters. That is a... That is a crap ton of heavy mechs. That's crazy. Warning, engine heat critical. Warning, error, shut down, initiated air, reactor offline, weapons offline, systems inoperable. <laughs> Trouble with your blackjack, Asher? Shame. It's been happening to a lot of royal guard mechs lately. You have numbers on us and you've resorted to sabotage and you're gloating about it? You have no honor, you vicious little brat, nor you, not you, nor your backstabbing father. Shut your mouth, old man. My father is a great man. And I swear to all the gods, you will suffer if you insult him one more time. What do you think Mastiff's going to do? Your father's a coward, and so are you. Asher, I want you to eject now. Punch out. You're no good to anybody in a broken mech. I won't let you die today. Eject mech warrior now. That's an order. And... There we go. Now come for me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. Come and show me what you learned. All right. Mission successful. Mission successful in name. So let's go ahead and hit that continue button. Mastiff's last stand. Kamea Arano dead. Deposed noble killed during escape. And that's it. Espinosa and Victoria. What a bunch of great guys. Eight hours later in high Cormadir orbit. orbit. There's Darius Oliveira. I'm going to get that right one day. Easy there, Kayla. You took a nasty crack in the head when you punched out. Don't worry, you're safe now. My name is Darius Oliveira, and I am the XO of Markham's Marauders. We're a mercenary outfit with ties to House Serrano, and we did some work for High Lord Tamidio, or Tamidi, or Tamadi, way back when. I'd introduce you to Commander Markham, but he was on a supply run in the Market District when the bombs fell, and he, he didn't make it. 
So this is where we start to have some conversation options here. So I'll start with, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I am too. He was a good man. A lot of good people died today. We picked up your distress beacon on emergency band as we were on our way off planet. After seeing what happened to Markham, it didn't feel right leaving you in the hands of this new directorate. We did a sweep of the combat site and grabbed your ejected pod and ran. So, questions here. Because remember, we didn't get to see the fight. We were busy ejecting here. What about massive Sir Roger Montgomery? Did you find him? We found his mech. It was completely cored out. Nobody survives a hit like that. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. We supported the Royal Guard in a handful of deployments, and Sir Raju earned my trust many times over. His death is a loss for us all. Were you able to recover the blackjack? Yeah. Our mech tech hauled what's left of it into the mech bay. It isn't pretty, but if you give him enough time, Yang can fix just about anything. Try not to take the loss too hard. Yang said your mech shows signs of deliberate sabotage. Whoever you had working on it really did a number on the reactor. Punching out was the right move. Of course, maybe the most que important question of all, what happens now? Well, things aren't looking so hot around here with that coup and all. House Espinosa's director is the new de facto government in the uh, Oregon Reach. So I'm hard, sorry to have to tell you this, but Lady Arano is dead. Her dropship was destroyed on takeoff. It's all over the news. <laughs> I think that's the most appropriate reaction. Well, shit. Our sentiments exactly. We're getting the hell out of Oregon territory, and I've already booked transport on the first jump ship out. I'm just I'm highlighting these in case you want to pause and look at it later. We're heading to a nice quiet stretch of independent space all the way across the frontier on the Canopian border. Oh, that's nice. Not a cheap trip, but worry about how we'll pay for it later. Uh, as for you, well, you got options. According to your blood shit, or just pretty much ID tag, uh, you got family out in the Magistry of Canopus. Like I said, we're heading that way. If you want, I could look into booking you a transport to a freighter. Maybe we can get you the rest of the way home. So, we have some options here, and you see some of these are available because of our background choices. Ancestry, the Magistry isn't my home, never has been. My family moved into the reach when I was born, a freelancer. I know how to live in the frontier. If that's where you're going, I guess I'm with you. I think that's better because, well, I don't really want to get into the family stuff right now. You're welcome to stay aboard as long as you like. Well, well, when we get near the Canopian border, we'll drop off on the planet of your choosing, of course. We'll need you to pitch in for your share of the fuel, plus food, lodging, and repairs of your Mac. Fair's fair, after all. Alternatively, you could find a place for yourself in the Marauders if you want to. Wouldn't take long for you to work off your debt, and you ran with Mastiff, so I know you got chops. Think it over, sleep on it. You had a hell of a day, and we got a long road ahead. Three years later. Now that's a long road. We're at the Rimward Frontier. Command interface initiated. Alright, so we're diving right into another mission. Three years later. IPL representative, the Independent Prospectors League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for, don't worry. We'll get your platforms back. This isn't just about what reclaiming what's ours. Majesty Metals killed hundreds of us when they tried to jump our claim. We want you to make them bleed for what they've done here. Commander, the, uh, the Op 4 is holding two of the IPL's mining platforms. The first designated alpha is where they're keeping the turret generator. Move on it fast and take it out. Those turrets hit hard and you'll need to neutralize them ASAP. Platform Bravo is on the side of Op 4's corporate security tower. Engage and destroy it. They bring a mech in to protect it, take it out, then circle back and we'll collect our pay. That's right, I'm ready and waiting to authorize transfer. Now go, Commander. Hit those corporate pigs where it hurts and we'll be watching the action from here. That's, that's pretty close to be watching the action from. Just saying. So your lance is morale. This is our blue bar. Uh, when it's half full, your pilots are inspired and have increased accuracy to all attacks. So that's pretty good. Now we have Asher, who's in the blackjack. Same loadout as before, except now we have death from above. We have Glitch, who is in a, uh, excuse me, a Vindicator. And uh, medium mech with some jump jets. Same kind of thing. Some LRMs. All these are kind of combined, combined arms build. Shadowhawk, medium mech as well. Good to go. A little bit more armor. And then we have uh, Decker and our light mech spider. So, like I said before, we're going to be wanting to move some of these people pretty, pretty fast just to try and get some evasion charges going. So let's go ahead and work our way up this uh -huh. hill. 
together while we can. And let's not go too far ahead just yet. All right, so I said Decker is super, super squishy. So we got to watch it. So here's us with our uh, little command thing here. And right now, Decker's in the way of everything. So we'll see what he wants to do. Is there any good place for him to hide? Come on, isn't that a tree he can hide in? All right, let's go over here. This seems all right. Like I said, we just want to be able to spot... Oh, enemy contact. Lots of turrets. You are trespassing on Majesty Metals and Manufacturing Property and acting in collusion with a domestic terrorist organization. Cease your advance immediately, or you will be fired upon. Um, it's, it's funny you're using that word terrorist. Pretty funny. All right, so what do we got around over here? Ooh, we got so many turns. All right. Oh, we got a, we got another little mech as well. And Decker taking a little bit of damage. That's actually a very tiny amount of damage given his lack of armor. Now, Ready for one of the things is that we will have two people firing upon him if we get up here. We want to get this generator ASAP. We do have some options. We can jump, we can sprint, we can vigilance, we can precision strike. Those cost morale, and I don't really like that. So if we jump, we can jump up here. That gives us a lot of evasion, but it puts us in targeting range for these things, and some of them should be lighting up here. So high ground is still pretty good. This, okay, that, we want to be able to potentially hit the generator. So I'll drop Decker up here. Acknowledge. This seems like a scary move, but somebody's got to make it. If we destroy the generator, we don't have to worry about any of these guys. All right, so who do we fire upon? 100 health. Oh, we actually have a spider mech as well. Oh, shoot. All right, well. Okay, generator. We have medium lasers that'll do half damage to it, Target assuming confirmed. we hit. Good. So, Majesty Metals Corporation, what you got? Okay, Spider, hopefully you decide not to go after my light mech that is conveniently flying up above. Nope, you're going to go for me! Or Asher, we should say. The player character. The commander, if you will. Alright, now we got a lot of options here. First, we got me. We got, we got Glitch, who can also potentially jump jet. We don't want to get into those turrets too badly, but I'd love to be able to take out some of the stuff this turn. Okay, we still we still get some uh we still get a shot right here. Got it. So glitch, fly on over. Glitch has a lot more armor, but is still pretty mobile. And has multi-target. So you want to hit this with the LRM. And then, what's your evasion like? You're pretty evasive. And, uh, we don't have too much else, though, so. Really? Small laser doesn't hit? Huh. Got it! Alright, looks like we're gonna need one more shot for the turret generator. Oh, wow! Oh, that was good. Not at all what I expected. All right. Now, Asher does not have a lot of long-range capabilities, but Behemoth does. So we could drop Behemoth right here. I'd like to drop Behemoth a little closer, if at all possible. I mean, we're jump jetting all over the place right now, but... Engaging jump jet. Shadowhawk, also, a very, also one of my favorite, like, old-school mechs. And you know what I'm going to do? This only has 30 health. I'm going to fire both of these because I want to make sure it dies. Locking on target. There we go. 
That's all the turrets. Rot it down, Commander. Cool, which just leaves little old Asher. How much health do you have? A little too much. We could move right here. We could death from above. I don't think that's wise. This area is relatively clear now. We could jump and go for kind of a side attack. I like having higher ground. So that should be alright. And we're not on a kind of mission where everybody must survive now. So you're you're gonna take less damage. This is a better this is a better shot, but like our weapons are not very accurate at this range, so if we fire here, we're more likely to actually do some damage. There we go. Right arm destroyed. Nice. So the nice thing about jump jetting around is that we do get some additional evasion, which means we're going to take less damage. You see the blackjack. Heat is not its friend with this current loadout. We'll have to fix that. Um, but at least right now, we do have Decker Commander. as possibly being able to do something. Like I said, the down... Oh, I haven't even been into it. The downside of jump jets is that you will end up doing damage to yourself eventually. Let's see. So you fired right here and didn't do a very good job. I copy. Alright, who do we wanna who do we wanna hit? Forty percent or eighty percent? I think that's pretty easy. Okay, took off some of the rear armor, got a lot of heat. And are you coming? Okay, you're coming up for Asher. Okay. And did you even hit? No, it doesn't look like it. So I'll have to watch your weapons a little bit, but I might be able to take both these guys out. All right, Asher, what you got? Uh, melee is all we got here. Damage is pretty good here. Let's go ahead and... Okay, one annoying thing is that I kind of lose my angle. Let me just jump again. Alright. Help maneuver everybody. Hopefully don't damage our legs too bad. If we keep jumping too much, gravity is going to do some problems here. But right now, we're losing a little bit of armor, but we're not doing so bad. So, what do our shots look like? Still better on this guy. We do have a massive overheat warning though. So we need to dial down some of these shots just a little bit. Like I hate plinking away this little bit. If we can take down this gunner we're gonna be in good shape. Okay, glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Good to Let's go. see if Behemoth's got a better shot here. Because Behemoth a little bit more of a short range. Okay, that's... Oh, you had to run around the side. That's probably why I got the evasion charge as well. Okay. So no multi-target here. 20% versus better stuff, so... Roger. Shots here. Not getting knocked down, unfortunately. I hear ya. And uh, glitch, we put you over here. Once again, heat is definitely a concern. All right, so LRM, you do have multi-target. We'll fire the LRMs on you, and the PPC probably, the PPC is fun. It does a lot of damage. It doesn't have a great chance to hit, but if I take out the small laser. We're going to be doing a lot more damage. So. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Okay, that's good. Wow. Okay, right torso destroyed, pilot injured again. And heat is on. Uh oh. Alright, 
Alright, so we got the enemy turn. And now you're going to punish us for our position, aren't you? Alright, so evasive running from behind, structure exposed. Reporting. Structural damage. Yep, that's fun. Alright, so you haven't moved yet. Waiting for orders. I could try and melee you. I don't know if we can get on the other side, but that's 30 damage. That's not great. Okay, and unfortunately with all these runs here, we're going to have some problems with our facing. Alright, so some light mechs causing some concern. So once again, heat being the issue here. What do we got? 70% to do 50% damage. I think we're going to take him out at the center torso, so that should be good. Here it comes. Light mech mobility for the win. Hostile removed. Alright, metals. And what's he doing? Destroy the Shadow Hawk, which is still hiding right here. Or no, the Shadow Hawk, we have one that's all the way down there. Okay. Let's Commander. see. Asher, what you got? First off, we have first off we have massive heat problems still. Okay, that's all gonna overheat like crazy. But we can get some good damage in, so. I know technically standing still and trading shots is not the best. So we got another mech coming from down there. Right now we're on top of a hill, so that's Commander? great. Okay, Glitch, where do you have exposed stuff? You have exposed rear. Orders. Alright, let's see if we can get you over here. Picked up a blip. Yeah, I bet you did. All right, what do we got here for attacks? Okay, no reason to use the LRM here. We will use the AC just in the event that it possibly hits. Because we can... It's worth a shot. It's really close combat. Oh, we got some vehicles too, okay. That's cute. Right, so, glitch again, can you get it? I mean, I could try and do some LRM goodness. That's probably all I have heat for. On my way. Big thing is I just want to get you back because right now you're the one that's actually hurt. So let's go ahead. Oh, we got some, we got some stuff we can fire here. PPC down. Well, let's do that. Got it. Oh, love it. Mech destroyed. There you go. So now we can cool off a little bit. All right. Look at this. Our morale's all the way up right now. Decker, what you got? Decker, let's drop you over here. Roger. And then we can let you cool down. Like, we don't need to worry about Overwatch right now, but we do need to worry about heat. Especially being in the desert, where we have some things to hide in, which is nice, but we don't have a lot of ways to dissipate heat other than waiting a turn. So it looks like we got some people up here. I think we just brace. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. There we go. Go ahead and wait for our shot. And I know this video is running a little long, but I, I'd like to be able to get into this. Or you know what? I think this is an okay stopping point because I'm trying to look at the clock right now here. We're kind of in between engagements. I mean, this video is still running just a little bit long, but 
I think the next time we can just finish out this mission because we've gotten some we've gotten some good mech combat so far. Don't get me wrong, but there's so much more to see and do. We're still kind of on the scripted missions right now, and I want to get to where we open up, but we're gonna save that for another time. So this is Asher. Well, that's Asher, but yes, this is Asher, the YouTube person, and we're gonna pick up about where we left off next time, and hopefully, hopefully we can not concern ourselves too much with what this mech is that's going around the hill. I mean, I could just go ahead and try and get in position to take it out or put a sensor lock on Waiting for orders. But that's another thing for another day. We do have precision strike. We do have vigilance. Those are all good. But yeah, this is Battletech. It's a lot of fun, and there's a lot more to it, and we're going to be doing it in the days to come. In the weeks to come, hopefully. But hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your con thoughts in the comments. Can't even get my words out anymore. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time where we will close out this mission and see what lies beyond. Take care.